Hi, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Google's chief internet evangelist, which means I have about 4 billion people to get onto the internet to add to the 3 billion that we have now. Some people wonder, are there any boundaries to what you can do with the internet? The simple answer is no. And the reason for this is that the internet is really the product of software. There are no boundaries to inventing software. It depends on how much you can imagine and what you can write down as programs. So you are really the only limit to what the internet can do. It's your imagination and your ability to write software that will determine what happens to the internet in the future. Some people wonder what will the internet look like 10 or 20 years from now. I wish that I could tell you the answer to that, but it turns out that even 10 years ago, I would not have been able to predict all the things that have happened in the internet today. But I do know that there are some trends, and you know them too. One of them is mobiles, the ability to communicate with the internet using radio wherever you are, the ability to get access to the internet's resources, computing and information from anywhere, makes the mobile, the smartphone, more valuable than it would be all by itself. And of course, having the internet accessible through the mobile means the internet is more valuable because you can get access to it at any time. So we can see that trend increasing. The speed of operation of the internet is also going up. At Google, we're building networks that run at a billion bits per second at the edges of the net. The users get a billion bits per second in both directions. You can do a lot with that kind of speed. The internet is also appearing in devices all around the world. We call this the Internet of Things. Appliances around the house, at home, in the office, in the car, things you carry around with you, maybe things you wear, and maybe even things that are implanted in your body are part of or will become part of this networked environment. Now this has some downside risks. You don't want someone who uh, doesn't have your best interest at heart interfering with the devices that you live with that surround you. So we're going to have to make these systems safe and secure. We're going to have to make sure that we authenticate the people who are interacting with those devices so only the people who are properly authorized get access to them. And I'm sure that you know that just as well as I do.